we don't have, <laughs> we don't have that. I mean, <clears throat> so the purpose of this call, we're going to be doing a series of interviews this month, hopefully next month. Hopefully just keep, keep going. It's called Want to Collab. Those are like the two most dreaded words in the industry these days. Like if somebody slides into your DMs and they're like, yo, <laughs> let's collab. Want to collab? Um, have you gotten that before? Yeah, man, all the time. Um, but for me, right, I don't have a problem with collabs. Uh, it's just like, um, it's who am, I, who am I collabing with and for what reason, right? All right, don't get too deep <laughs> into it. Don't get too deep into it. Yeah, I just want, I just want to know. I just want to know the feeling that you get when you see, you go on your Instagram DMs and you see the, the, the one, you know, the one where it's like, I, I mean, I wish I could look at it now, but it's, it's like um, these messages. What is it called? The messages from the people that you don't, you don't know. Oh, um, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Like special or something. Or, yeah, it's, nah, it's, nah, it's, some, it's something. Yeah. Wait, let me go. It's, it's something in the box. Like, it says requests. Oh, All right. Okay. Like I have it right now. Nine requests. There's primary, general, and requests. I have nine requests. So you go into the requests, and it's, it's either a bot trying to sell you Bitcoin or somebody trying to help you promote your music, or it's, yeah, yeah, sick, it's requests. And it's this random person saying, yo, you want to collab? Y yeah. Um, so, what yeah. is your initial feeling when you see that? I'm like, okay, cool. Let me check out the, the profile. Like, that's the first thing. Like, cool. Let me check out the profile. And sometimes so it, the first thing you do, you check out the profile. Yeah, and and sometimes the profile. It depends on what's on the profile. I will be like, okay, cool, let's do it. If not, like I'll just ignore. <laughs> <laughs> the radical one says those messages are annoying. Okay, have you ever slid into somebody's DMs? And I don't. I'm just using the term lightly. Have you ever directly messaged someone and said, "Let's collab with one another"? Yeah, collab. yeah. Um. Yeah, but not not on IG though. I think it was in a in a group. Um, it was a Facebook group or some some something, and then yeah. You showing your age? No, man. it was recently, bro. Well, a few years ago, <laughs> like two years ago or some shit. Yeah. Right. And then you hit up. And how did how did that yeah, work I mean, out it, for you? It, it, it turned out great, man. Me and the guy did a, a few a few songs together. It was like um Kanzilla, so we are like a few tracks together. Oh, so it yeah, works bro. definitely, man. All right. Okay, now that we got that chatter out of the way, I just wanted to do that, break the ice a little bit. Um, let's get right into it. Like I said, yo, what go on, Pepe? Um, Bro, wait. For, good night, for, everybody. For, for some reason, I'm not yeah, seeing right. any, any any messages or anything, you know. So, like, I... Bro, you got to fix... That's that's you and your yeah, iPhone, just, bro. Just that's, 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 that's you and your that iPhone. Sucks. I'm not getting involved. I hear the iPhone 14 is coming out. You can put your hands on that when that comes mm -hmm. out. Right, I can I can give you a little bit of it. It says Pepe says the great Mecca, and and Rasta Dupes, right? <laughs> yeah, Rasta Dupes. Pepe, big up yourself, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so 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 you I ready? Was, I was trying to get my Rasta on, you know, but boy, for some reason, I just this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, you know, bro. So I just figure, you know, what? these are not locks, yo. These are not locks. Man. I'm not locking my hair. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but on a serious note, yeah, we definitely want to get started. You know, I don't, I want to, I want to make the best use of your time. I know you don't like to waste your time. Probably got to watch HBO or something. Nah, I have to do um, some mastering tonight, bro. <laughs> okay, good, good yeah. vibes, good vibes. So, um, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Let's Collab. I want to want to collab. Actually, we're gonna figure out the name as soon as we get get to it. And um, we just wanted to talk about the power of collaboration. We wanted to talk about the power of creation. And the power of music. Um, I sent you some questions. Did you get the questions? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So first and foremost, for anybody that's watching this tomorrow, five years from now, next week, that doesn't know who you are, please introduce yourself. All right. Um, I'm, I'm the Mecca, a hip-hop artist from St. Lucia. Uh, with My, my hip-hop music is, it has EDM and pop elements infused into it right and i mean that's all enveloped with my caribbean culture because being from st lucia we have different cultures you know so there's the creole culture we are the um the african culture we have you know there's spanish and dutch as well right so we have all those things and then um so just incorporating all those things into into the music to the sound um the lyrics the 
the Creole um, um, dialect that we, we use sometimes. So, yeah, that's pretty much who I am, you know. Okay, so you, you say you're a very diverse Yeah, I'm a songwriter, mastering With engineer. Songwriter. Yeah, just mastering just engineers. all-around music uh -huh. business enthusiast. Okay, vibes. Consultant. Yeah, that too. I mean, guys have me on the phone a lot, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. I totally understand. Um, yeah, and I mean, if if anybody does know us, I mean, I'm Dupes. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. We've worked together for 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 too yeah. long. Like, I don't even. We we can't even go down. Like, it's it's just it's 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 a long very it's a very long road, and we've been collaborating with each other for 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 eons. Yeah, it might be a long time, you know. And um, yeah, and we've all we 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 we've learned things about the business together. Um, I I was not originally born in St. Lucia. I came to St. Lucia when I was nine, nine years old to live. And it's people like you that, that what you're saying about the culture is so true. It's like a, it's like a literal bouillon. It's like a mix of, of, of everything. You understand what I'm saying? You know, it's a, and, and everything that happens in the world, it gets siphoned into the island. And then everybody takes it out and they make their own. You know, St. Lucia has the best of the best of everything. Yeah, yeah, you know? man. And I think because even even when New we... York, they consider New York to be. I'll, I'll finish. I'll say they consider like New York to be a melting pot. Well, then St. Lucia definitely is a melting pot too. But but, but yeah, ahead, because man. even when we decide, okay, we want to create like reggaeton music, for example, right? We would create reggaeton. Um, would we'd start with the basics. It, there's certain, I guess, the, the rhythm and whatever. And then um, we as St. Lucians would incorporate our vibe into it. That just makes it unique. All right. So, and that's always a plus. I got you. I got you. Yeah. And I mean, it, that, that, that defines everything we've ever done. Like, I mean, we have, we have great jazz artists. We have great R&B artists. We have great rappers. We have our own genre of music, Denry segment. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it's it's interesting to speak with somebody like you because you've been a part of you've been a part of it in some way, some shape, some form, somehow. So I think I'll just get to my next question: Is how did you get involved in music in the first place? Uh yeah. Um, shit. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I was I was so I'm from Library, right? Um, and we we always had back in the day, we always had um events happening in library right so there was always a toasting competition right so people just come on the mic and you know and shep shep used to be heavy in that truth my boy chuf used to be heavy in that and there are other dudes from library as well that used to be heavy on that right but you know i'm a little a little dude like so i'm just watching on the sidelines right now, before you go too far what is toasting for the people in the back of the class oh, yeah that's just like freestyling but it just whatever okay. right so it's, it's more freestyle you just call it toast so you just come on the mic and you just do whatever you want right um so mm -hmm. i think there were there were a few competitions where truth won dj grinch right he won a few competitions right mm -hmm. so he came he came to my house i can't remember what it was for you know m most likely some computer stuff right i'm like yo dude right next time you're going on stage i want to go with you right and he said you sure okay i'm like yeah sure i want to go on stage I might say, okay, cool. Next week there's a show. Let's go. <laughs> so you tell me, you tell me, yeah. Ghana, right? Yes, DJ sir. Grinch, hard yes. break oh, dancers. Yeah, break dancers. Yes, sir. You used to you used to freestyle. That's what you're trying yep. to tell me. Yep. If you had told me that, that's the first time I'm ever hearing that. If you had told me that, I would never ever in my life believe that Ghana used to go up on a stage, hold a mic, and like you yeah, said, yeah, man, we have we have a song, we have a song together too, you know, bro. Like on, on one of the mixtapes, <laughs> right? right? Bro. So, right, yeah, and, and he was like, you. yeah, next week we have the show. So if you want to do it, let's do it. I'm like, yo, you serious? Now, I asked him to come on stage, but one time I want to back out already, you know, like, wow, so soon, boy. But right. then I said, I'm yeah. like, you know what, let me, I'll do it, man. And then we, I guess we decided what we're singing. Um, so at the time we were singing um, other people's songs, right? So I remember that clearly, mm -hmm. man. I, it was a Red Rat. OPS. Yeah, other, yeah, other people's songs, right? So, um... <laughs> So we sang Red Rat and Goofy. Red Rat and Goofy, boy, would, the men had some, like, solid joints, right? So obviously I was playing the Red Rat role because I had a little small voice and thing. And, um, okay. And you and had? Was, uh, 
No, I'm on this day is the boys get to your boy. And 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 um and Chuf was doing goofy, right? And so man, we mm-hmm. and yo, so like And these are these are Jamaican artists. Yeah. And and okay. after, and that hit so much, right? Like we used to go play, perform in schools and everything, just doing red rat and goofy tracks, you know. And like everybody was just feeling the vibe, bro. So I mean it was all right, all right. Yeah. And that's how and that's how I got my start, you know. And then and then so after a few years of of well, I say years, it wasn't the years, but after some time of performing I would I would play some Red Rat on the live, but I only nah, like to get they, muted because I know Red Rat Red Rat is a man that has taken his his his, his publishing. Yeah, they'll, they'll serious, shut us you, know down. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Oh Lord I'm gonna drop some drops. I'm gonna have the sound effects and everything, boy. Oh gosh. But I'm gonna drop some drops. All right, so 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 how old how do you feel comfortable saying how old you were when you were doing that? Um, well, I was like 14. And where were you going to school at the time? Okay. At the time I was So where were you going to Mary's, school? I was at St. Mary's College at the time. Okay. Yeah. So so okay, yo, okay, so right, so right. head is right. I'm going to school, yeah. Mm, I'm listening. I'm going to school, right? And I'm doing all this music thing, right? And like nobody knows, yeah. Like, I'm not telling anybody that yo, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, right? Yo, so I'm mm. I remember I'm I'm at A level now, right? And I'm at I'm opening for uh was it uh, keep preaching them, right? Um and I'm 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 going to school the next day. <laughs> Not now. I'm going to school the Monday after, right? And I'm in in class, and I'm in class, right? And then so this girl stands up and she says, "Hey, Miss, do you know that um, um, Kin Kin was performing wherever, wherever on on Saturday?" <clears throat> and she's like, "Um, no." She's like, "No, um, I didn't know." So she asked me if that's true. I'm like, "Yeah." She says, "So how come I never invited the whole class to come and see me perform and stuff?" But but I was just doing my thing, bro. I was, yo, it, I, I was so deep in that, right? Like, I would have my own shows, um, my own shows and go to school. So have the shows on Friday or Saturday, go to school Monday with a bag of money, right? Because I had to go to the bank to deposit that money afterwards. That's just madness, you know? <laughs> No, but I, I can remember. I mean, I don't know how how. And now at that time, our our careers are moving like kind of parallel because we we're the same yeah. age. We're the same age. We born the same month. So that means you're in A levels, yeah. right? How old were you then? How old was I? I was like seventeen, eighteen, about there. Seventeen, yeah. eighteen. Okay, seventeen, eighteen. I I didn't go to A levels. I started my own business in the south because like I I wanted to have a band. I wanted to be a musician. And my dad was like, "Yo, you want to do music? That's gonna be very expensive. You have to figure out business so you can fund your your thing." So right away, I open a business, and I'm doing I'm 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 in a band. I'm I'm like a I'm like a keyboard player in a band, but I'm singing. No offense to the lead singer, I'm singing better than the lead singer, and I'm making beats on the side. And, and I and I'm I'm hook I hooked up with um Silky, who who was part right. of your rap group, right? All right, cool. Yeah. So, so we're just like we're just lining everything up. So you're going to school with bags of money from your yeah. shows. Yeah. I'm not interested in standing on a stage at all. I just want to be in the studio, just making right. music. Right. And, and I just want to, and I'm, and I'm in my business making money. And, yeah. and we, and and so it was, it, so it was a group of us, right? So it was, um, uh, right. just not just musicians, but also like basketballers as well, right? So we 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 would have right. baller rummers, right? Basketball rummers. Uh, the AIDS Action Foundation or whatever they call themselves at the time, I can't really remember. They would come to us to re- help raise funds for, for them, right? So we would have all those kind of things happening, bro. So so from shows, from mm-hmm. shows to um, dances to parties to um, ball aromas, um for any fundraising event, yo, we just used to have them, those yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. things. Like, we would just, like, be go to mm-hmm. people for that, right? So, and we always had right. to... Um, yeah, and at the time, at, at the time, I was, man, at A level was was the time where, like, I think that's when I really started doing the music heavy, right? Because yo, I used to skip school a lot, right, to go to the studio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I right. even skip, I even skip school a day to go register with Echo. Nice right, to show you, bro. 
and we end, <laughs> and, uh, and and we ended up in an accident that day like just crazy right i definitely wasn't nah, there that you were not there that because um okay. yeah nah, okay, you, okay. you 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 were not you were, i mean we we had some adventures right we had some adventures but our adventures, oh yeah we will get into that we'll get into that maybe not even yeah. on this show yeah yeah <laughs> And if people and if people think my hair is long now, they should have seen it when I registered with Echo. Like my Echo, I had the I had the um he got game Denzel Washington yeah. fro at yeah. that time. Huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. I can remember that. Um yeah. <laughs> all right, so so play you you I know all the names. You, we'll save that for the autobiography. You were in the group, you were skipping school, you were making music. Like I said, we go we're gonna save some of it for the autobiography. And so all this time you're collaborating you're working oh, yeah. with people you're yeah. making things happen but my yeah. collaboration Teamwork. yeah collaboration has been has been the number one thing from day one right because you would be in, right. in the studio every day right every day and it's not just me yeah. would have chef in the studio would mm -hmm. have dollar bread in the studio would have sauce in the studio would have a bezel in the studio like it's a whole squad even when we did mecca mondays remember yeah, yeah. we had like a squad of people every day just in the studio right just writing creating. yeah right yeah. so like mm -hmm. collaboration has always mm -hmm. been a big part of it and and the good thing about collaboration is yeah um when one person wins everybody wins right and and that's the good yeah. thing man so so i could come and say i could easily say hey yo um yo boy did you hear people could be saying like yo you all know mecca have a song on whatever whatever and then in the background, it's not only Mecca was the song, but yo, Dukes was on the song, Shep was on the song, like so. Everybody on that song had that accolade, and everybody got paid from that, you know, that little setup. So collaboration is a beautiful thing, man. I have to pin the comment from Krishnan. Krishnan says he was copying your notes for you when you were out of class. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I know how factual that is, but I will take it. Bruh, it is. Yeah. So yeah. So li listen, listen, listen. So Krishnan, right? Hey, hey, hey. So Christian was was drag on at the time, yeah. yeah. And, and dude had that like angry kind of, you know, like the man was just fire, fire, just fire, just dragging, yeah, just he like was his name, Eminem, dragon. but black, it's fire. right? And and like <laughs> <laughs> so so, bro. All right, cool. I, so he was he was doing his music thing too, right? Um, but bro, and I collab with him on a, on a, on a good few tracks. Eh? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I was skipping school. Like, yo, I used to skip school so often to go to the studio, eh? to go to the studio or to the bank, right? That. <laughs> That's two good places to go. <laughs> Is it that you go to the studio or you go to the bank? I mean, you can't, you can't argue about yeah, that. Like, um, I remember I went to write um, one of my exams, right? I think it was uh, accounts. And. Um, <clears throat> The uh, the teacher asked, "Who am I?" You know, when I entered the, the exam room, <laughs> so I was like, "Keen Carter." She said, "Oh, you're the Keen Carter." I'm like, "Wow, the mecca." I'm like, Miss, um, I, you don't know me. I'm in, <laughs> I'm, I'm in your class, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in your class once or twice. Okay, since we're doing that, and since we saying you're the Keen Carter, give me a little breakdown on your name, Mecca, or the Mecca. Yeah. Okay. So. Mecca was just a word that I, I really liked, right? Mecca. And it, it had a, a, a big meaning, man. Um, so it means, in, in Chinese, it means the place the multitude wants to visit. So I started as Young Mecca. And then um, for various reasons, I dropped it. And I, I decided to be the Mecca, you know, the one and only, right? Yeah, it's because you're, you're not as young yeah, as you were when that, you were young. That too, that I mean, too. But, I mean, but come it's, on. It's, it's, it's about <laughs> growth, right? It's about growth, yeah? So right. um, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I dropped the young, then add, added the before it. But because but the. but mecca is like like a, a it's a heavy word, man. It's big. It means the the yeah, essential. It's, isn't it like almost like the holy land too? Yeah, isn't I mean, it? yeah. Like there's the, 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 the yeah, holy land, the problem. right? Yeah. There's the, the, but that wasn't yeah, what your inspiration nah, it was. Like for you know how they say okay. New York is the mecca for this and this place, California right, 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 is the, right. the mecca for like films. Like I'm just the mecca. Right. Like, well, yo, if you need something, right, right, right. holla at me, bro. So you was on that Kanye energy before Kanye even said he was because Kanye. I'm kind of Louis Vuitton Don. Kanye is always the this yeah, or this. The I that, was just, that. So you were on that energy. Yeah, I was just not that before that. Boastful and braggadocious as he was. Should have been though. 
we'll put a pin in that because that's not true. Um, for those who don't know, <clears throat> the reason why my name is Dupes is because of Mecca. Mecca gave me my nickname. So that we could talk about that too, you know, um, collaboration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> your, your name was, just, uh, honestly, it was just me being lazy, right? Your name was just way too long for me to say, man. I'm like, you know what? Just shut yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. make it. We make, and then every, every other nickname that I've had has come from you too, because it, it, it was, it was, it was dupes. Then was hot super dupes. And then it was du um, dupes. Super duper producer from the future, du duper. Yeah, like, <laughs> and then it was dupers. Yeah. You, so 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 basically, you you baptize you baptize my names and my monikers. You have the trademark and the copyright. And yeah, all it's that like for, it's for like, my yeah, it's same way with me, right? Like Shep, like my name is Mecca, but then Shep would call me Mac, 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 Plek, Plek. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it just mm -hmm. so I guess I was just doing the same thing to you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, I I appreciate it. So we've been you've introduced yourself, you've broken down your name, you told us how you got involved. I have to rewind and listen to that again because I still cannot believe it, but we'll we'll go into that. I sent you the questions. I might be all over the place, but I'm definitely going to the next one. What is like your biggest inspiration? Like uh, now, then um future. Yeah. My biggest inspiration. You know, that is like a that is a a big question, you know, that kind of like, oh my. I sent you the question. Yeah, I know. I, I, I was, I was, I was kind of <laughs> like, but what's my biggest inspiration? Like, like, you know, what really inspires me, man, is like, not wanting to fail. What's possible? Like, just not wanting to fail, right? And I always want to do good, man. So, I just always. But is there a difference between not wanting to fail and a fear of failure? Um, there is a difference, yeah. Because if you if you have a fear of failure, you may not act, right? Um, but okay. if you if you just do not want to fail, um, you will uh, you will understand that failure comes with it. Man, yo, I've failed a lot, bro. Like, right? Okay, okay. So I think you're breaking down the the difference that you're breaking down is that you're saying you 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 understand failure is part of the process, but what inspires you is that you you know that you're gonna keep going yeah. forward yeah. with it. Knowing, excuse yeah. me, that you're you're not gonna feel yeah. it. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. Was there ever a time you go break down one of your failures, if you don't mind? It don't have to be a a deep one, but break one down. Bro, alright. So um, <clears throat> so I'm in um, I'm I'm in California, right? I'm on stage, right? I was supposed to be on that trip. <laughs> But I yeah, 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 yeah. Up. But anyways, so, so, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I think you were, you were in Germany at the time, right? Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. This is the first time no, you went. To, this is the no. first time you went to yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, you were supposed to come, but okay. Yeah, so yeah, hold up. Yeah. So hold up. Everybody, just one second. Anybody that lives in St. Lucia know we got a different type of HBO, right? So, so HBO used to run these little contests, you know, get win, win a trip to go see the movie. Live was something like that, right? Oh no, nah, it was it was um some contest, but the the winner would meet with people from Universal. The winner would meet with people from Universal movies, right? Right. You, cool. right. In this whole world, in the whole Latin speaking world that has access to this HBO, who would have thought that that Keen Mecca Carter wanted? He calls me and he says. Yo, we going to LA, we doing this, da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, bro. All right, all right. Okay, cool. And I what was happening is that I had to be in yes, Connecticut to travel out. at the yeah, exact yeah. same time. It, yeah, and, and it, it was it, I was really disappointed because you were so excited about this trip. I, I hadn't been to LA yet. So I was like, damn, this man going to LA before me. Yeah. Nah. So listen, listen, the story <laughs> behind that, right? Yes. So, so when you when you tapped out, right? When you couldn't make it sauce. I, I saw us tell me, yo, mm -hmm. I'll go with you, killer. We'll do that. I'm like, great, bro. Then, sauce cannot make it. I'm like, God oh, damn it. So it's just right. me, right? Bro, and I'm... So that, that was, you had to make that journey by yourself. That was what the universe Yeah, but prior to that, I'm calling up people. I'm saying, yo, you want to go to LA? Like, yo, you want to... And people just thought I was joking, bro. People literally thought like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> taking a piss. I'm like, yo, yeah, let's yeah, go yeah. to LA. So I end up doing that trick by myself, bro. <laughs> right? So so yo, so I'm I'm in um I'm meeting with all these people, you know, 
I'm jet lag. First time taking that long trip. Exactly. Bro, exactly. You dig? So I'm mm -hmm. I'm meeting with all those people and I'm kind of I need yo I need Pepsi for some reason. Pepsi was the only thing that was caffeine. Yeah. The caffeine. So um, but but yeah. I remember pimping. I'm I'm at a show, right? I'm I'm performing, bro, right? <clears throat> And like I'm, I'm assuming yo, I'm gonna get a lot of love because my music is, you know, fresh and I'm, I'm, I'm a handsome guy, mm -hmm. you know. I'm, 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 mm -hmm. I'm about to be a star, bro. You dig? And yo, no mm -hmm. love, pimping, no love on this stage. City of bro. Angels. No yeah. love, pimping. I was like, ah. So the City of Angels turned into Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Yeah, bro. So, so, so that one, <laughs> I was like, nah. But the thing is, I learned from that though, right? So. So ever ever right. since that time, mm -hmm. I I I real I um I realized what I need to do, right? So the second time I went to LA, now I'm I'm performing after. It's it's at one of those you know there's seminars where people um at people they they choose they choose people to perform at at intervals and whatnot, right? Yeah, like a conference. You have a, it's a conference, but in between the conference, they have different yeah. People so there's entertainment. So I'm on the bill, right? <clears throat> and pimping, I'm. My 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 instrumental is coming down, boy. Boom, <laughs> and it's uh uh uh. You know our our zoom zoom hangover kind of thing, right? Like, okay, uh, you were performing we have zoom. That, yeah, 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 yeah. electronic sounds, bro. And and yo, so the the instrumental is coming down. Nobody's seeing me, right? Like I'm I'm out of view, right? Um, and there are some people in the front, just at the front of the stage, talking, right? My music is playing, and then people just chatting it up, bro. And I'm in the back, bro. Like I'm on the, I'm, I'm I'm not even backstage, you know. I'm at the at the back, like by the bar, right? Then I stand, I stand mm -hmm. on the bar, and I'm I'm, you know, and I'm I'm freaking going nuts, bro. Like he's standing on the bar. Pimpin, I'm I'm yo. <laughs> bro, I yo, I'm 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 wrapping my heart out, bro. I'm I'm on the bar, and that electronic sound is yeah. coming down, and I, yo, ah. Uh, so and I'm so I'm now making my way through. I'm making my way through to to the. What is this? I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> just showing you like you know that's the visuals, bro. You, you, I'm showing you the visuals. You think? Yeah. So I'm making my way to the stage now, and those people in front still yeah. like chatting, like paying me no mind, bro. Like none whatsoever. So I just I just breeze through in the middle of them. It's four of them, right? Two on each side. I just cut through the middle of them, you know. Do a little one two moves and and pimp in. Like that first time where people showed me no love, that second time I was like, "I, right, I got you." And then I just like you did. Right, so, right, right. You, you, you became an entertainer. Yeah. And 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 so as a result yeah. of that, right, um, there is mm -hmm. this promoter guy from LA. Like, dude came up to me all hype, and I, that's after after I, I'm done performing. And I'm I'm seated at the back, yo, and I'm I'm exhausted, bro. I'm, <laughs> Cause like I told you, I gave it up my all, bro. I'm sweating and all kind of mm -hmm. things. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You left it. You left it on the and stage. So there, there, mm. there are these two two folks in front of me just talking, right? And this guy comes up to to the people like, yo, hey, um, he's whoever, whoever, and um, he would like to speak with me. You dig? And the people say, well, nah, they mm -hmm. don't really know. They don't really know me, so they can go ahead. So he's coming up to me and say, yeah, he thought, he thought those guys were my manager. <laughs> you dig? <laughs> right, right. Your yeah, just because like how they were like. You know, all executive looking, and I'm just in the back, exhausted, sweating. But yeah, so so that that is the vibes. I just say that to say, like, um, just failure is part of the process. Uh, but you have to really learn from it, man. Like, you cannot just accept accept it and not learn anything from it. Like, oh, I feel hard luck. Like, nah, man. Why did I fail? Okay, cool. I'll do that better next time. I just do better. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with it. I'm with it. Um. So then to talk a little bit, just bring it back to a little bit about collaboration, because clearly, I mean, we, the stuff we've done through our career as mu as songwriters, as artists has been about collaboration. You've, you've collaborated with male, female artists as well, people of different genres. You've, co you've collaborated in different languages. You've collaborated across, across the ocean, across water. You, you, you tie it all together. And like you said, Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Um, give an example of maybe. I don't even know. Like, yeah, let's talk about something positive. Like, what was a what was a collaboration that you did that you 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 reaped like positive benefits from? All right. Um. Well, 
Yo, the first one was Yes Gasa with Shep, right? That's, that, okay. that forced me to know what the business was about, right? Um, we, yes, yeah. got some. Because, mm -hmm. yo, it might, you like a bunch of young dudes, you have that song on the radio there, you have no idea what to do with it, you dig? Um, so that was the first one, right? So what we used mm -hmm. to do, yeah? We used to have, so we, we used to hustle CDs, right? So we'd put the music on CDs and, and literally go out in the streets and sell that. And right, sell CDs. That's that's what we and, used to and do. what we used mm -hmm. to do is like have, so we wanted a certain price for the CDs, and whoever went out to sell the CDs could sell it for whatever price they want and keep the profits, but just make sure you bring what we ask for for us, right? And everybody was eating, bro. Right. Everybody was eating from from those things. So that 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 I'm looking I'm looking for a CD just in case anybody watching don't know what a CD is. <laughs> so so you see like we used to make our CDs. I mean, our people, a portion of people are just born in the, on the chat, them and. Hey, listen, listen. This is going to be this evergreen content. You know what I'm saying? These are CDs, people, just in case. You don't have to go Google. Yeah, yeah so that was the early wins, man. And then um, and then moving on from there, we just, like, you're just having all the placements in um in the team. But hold up, though, because you're saying, yes, Gasa, right? Yes, Gasa. And you're talking about selling CDs. So you're not talking about collaboration just in the sense of making music. You're talking about working as a team and giving everybody a role and saying, we're doing this, I'm doing this, somebody's financing this. Um, the Yes Gasa music video, we went, you know, that's, I was part of just like, just moving exactly. things around. So, you know? so uh. all that, like, so the collaboration mm -hmm. was not only with the music, right? So it was like everything else that came mm -hmm. with it. So the music video for sure, cause we had to enlist Cow to do it, Ted, right? Um, then yeah, <laughs> Mecca's using all the inside names. <laughs> He's not using any outside names. <laughs> Ted Sandiford did the Yes Gasser video. Yes, right. And I, then um mm -hmm. and then um we had uh we had Shep who was the artist, but then outside of that we had, you know, all, everybody that was involved in just making the the um I, I was the one who mixed and mastered the song, but then we had Sauce in the studio helping Shep with the um with the, the song, the lyrics. And then uh, then right. when that came out, we had we had people to push it on the radio, right? So we had we had a, right. a squad, mm -hmm. like a squad. Just doing, yeah. just just working, just yeah. working. So it was just like working. a unit. Mm -hmm. So that collaboration mm -hmm. was not just with this. It was like the Bulls. It was like the Bulls in the night. Yeah, man. That, that's exactly what You can what say it. You can say it. That's exactly <laughs> what You can say it. You can say it. You can say Yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, listen, all that time. So I remember, right? I remember there was a time I was, I was, I was going to school. I was, I was at A level at the time still. And then, like, so, so one of the, uh, so a young lady, a girl comes up to me and says, Hey, it's your it's, it's your birthday or something? I'm like, nah. Like, why? See, like every radio station I turn, like it's just your songs that playing on the radio. I'm like, <laughs> that that's a big that's thing in solution, man. If if your music playing on the radio, <laughs> if your music playing <laughs> on the radio, they gonna think it's your birthday. Like, like it's something so yeah. like like what, you know? But yeah, that was and the back thing. In the that day, was, that, the, thing, that was the aim for me. Eh? That mm. was the end goal, right? To get music playing on on Saint Lucian radio station, like. Think about that, right? To think yeah, about like that. I had mm -hmm. no idea what else I could have done, right? I had no idea, mm -hmm. bro. But the good thing is, I was a dude who always liked to read, yeah. And the minute I learned that, yo, mm -hmm. if my song plays on radio, I supposed to get paid. I'm like, ah, then yo, I want to get paid, bro. <laughs> he said, ah. I want to get paid, bro. So, so he said, ah, yeah. Sometimes I can get hello. No, I like so, it. <laughs> uh, so, so I I did my research and I realized, yeah, there was nothing at the time. You dig that that would enable me to collect money when the music played on radio. So I, I look outside, right? I try to figure out, yo, how do I get my music out now? That was before mm -hmm. YouTube is the big thing. That's before streaming and all them things. Yo, how do you do that, bro? I'm in New York outside yeah. of um um uh Def Jam, outside of um Columbia, like you just chilling, waiting for somebody to come through, toss a CD. Yeah, sure. uh, killer, like mm. me, boy. Them New York winters was fun, boy. That's all I could say, boy. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. That, that's why you're not. That's why you haven't seen a winter since, right? Nah. Well, I mean, I've done the UK winter since, but not the New York winters. Nah. Right, right. No. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Well, that's that's kind of like, and then you were starting. You were getting into now. I guess the results of our collaborations and the collaborations you've done, and you started talking about sync. 
So what is sync? Yeah, so sync is short for synchronization. It's just pairing music with audio, with, with visuals, right? So taking a song. Right. So a music video is an example of, of sync, right? Because you're taking a song and you're putting it right. on the um, video, right? So, so we're yes. getting the music into TV shows, commercials, um, um, films, like all those are, are sync, right? Um, yeah, mm-hmm. so and 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 the good thing is, right? Sync is uh, an another way you could generate revenue for your music, right? Um, you have to play the game kind of differently when you're dealing with sync, but it's it's a way to you know to put the music out there and to actually get paid off it. You you get your lump sum, you get your royalties, um, you get um, what they call neighboring rights as well. All depends on where where it's done. So man, like it, it's like it opens doors. For your music. Yeah. And I mean, essentially, I mean, there's no, you, you really can't say there's a TV show or film or something or advertisement that doesn't have music tied into it, especially especially back home in St. Lucia. Sometimes your music would just be in an yeah. ad. Yeah. Yes. Like if you have a popular song, if you have a popular song, there's going to be somebody talking over it, advertising yeah, and, and, something. And what, what people didn't realize is that Somebody has to license yes. that. Somebody has to ask for permission. Sometimes somebody has to pay for that license to 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 use that because it's helping somebody else make money. Yep. It's inspiring somebody. It, it, it's doing something. So so sync synchronization. I, I people's eyes gloss over sometimes when I say, "Yo, you should do. You should also do sync because not every song you record is gonna be the song that you want to put out, you know, or, or on your album or project, but it might fit." <laughs> something very specific so you might as well right. give it a shot right and 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 a good thing you said that right because with with sync there are certain um things that that the music supervisors go for so the music supervisors are persons who will say yes this is a great fit for that particular scene in that particular movie or a great scene for um end credit scene for for a montage or something right um so when when writing for sync versus writing for like you know just to release there are certain formats or certain unwritten rules like i would say mm-hmm. because for example you cannot be rapping about or, or talking about singing about balenciaga if the people are in, in a if you if the the movie you know my specific yeah, brand if the music if the movie is about mm-hmm. some other thing and the people don't really want to push anybody's brands right so you have to like right within certain mm-hmm. context and thing, so that that's that's a, a plus. Uh, I, it's funny though when the, once upon a time I always used I only used to write when I was inspired. Yeah, yeah. Right. But when writing for sync is just so crazy, right? Like you, there is no time to be inspired, really. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fast. Yeah. it's fast because I mean sometimes. Sometimes you get a brief, you get what brief is basically the, the, the requirements for the job. So, so, so songwriting is a job and the same way people would tender for like, oh, I want to be the architect for this building here. And I want to bid to be the, the guy for this here. We get briefs and they say, hey, I'm looking for a hip hop and R&B song that could fit in a scene about this movie and that and you have to say this and that so, right mm-hmm. you say when you that so now you're like a song yeah factory. and and so they, and you'd get those briefs and say hey deadline is in one week like ah oh, gosh or something like the deadline is like i got one one was yeah, one day right next day and you like you literally have to to yeah. like pump out the songs and 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 you have to do like a superb job right they cannot sound like demos you know they have to be like suitable they have to be usable right so um so that right. so working for broadcast yeah, quality. So working for sync working towards sync is um that is one of the things i learned right that yo there's no no time to yo force the inspiration somehow like make it come you dig don't wait for it well that's it that's where you and me we kind of like i mean is it I don't. I, I don't know. Sometimes we 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 butt heads on that one because it's like. I heard it. I heard J Cole say like. Um. There was a point where he used to, wait to get inspired to write, until he realized that it it was actually inspiring to actually write because if you don't, if you don't write. 
if you don't keep using that muscle like as much as you can, you kind of lose it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it 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 became the point where it was like, no, well, if I don't write, I don't get inspired. You know, so it, it's kind of like a balance, like you say, of the if it's got to be done, it's got to be done because you might. I think where the issue comes, forcing part comes, is like if they want you to write a happy song and you're just not in a happy yeah. mood. Yeah, you do. Because you work with me, you know, I'm always writing these minor chords. I'm never, I'm, I'm I, if I write a happy song, it's going to be on a, on a minor, sad sounding yeah. beat. <laughs> or the other way yeah, around. Yeah. So, like, it, it, they're like you, like you're working on the radio, right? Every day you have to just show up and be okay. happy, right? So, so when, right. when, when you know, like, yeah. I did not, I did not say that. Like, remember, <laughs> remember when, when we were doing the, the, um, the, the songs for, for, uh the the children's programs right yeah yes i i never write a song for children in my life bro any right we, we had a nickelodeon anybody that listen to my music will know that damn is singing for children <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and like so and we literally had to do it right we had to do like what seven mm -hmm. songs over uh, we had to submit we had to submit seven songs and i feel like we had we literally had a yeah, week. Yeah, it was a, a short week. time, yeah. right? And we mm -hmm. literally had to... Yeah, yeah. it was it was, it was yeah, rough. So we had to it write, produce, mm -hmm. record, mix, master, and submit it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and imagine, like you're saying, boy, wow, i really not in the mood for that. Thing, man. I'll, I'll wait when I inspire to write. Like, nah, it don't work that way, bro. If, you, if, mm -hmm, if that's mm -hmm. what you want... It doesn't. Yeah, if that's doesn't. what you want, you just do it, bro. Like, you just go right ahead and just do it, yeah? And that's what I learned... I'll tell you, I'll tell you, because we would write the songs and then I would, we were working with OJ, OJ um, Joseph at the time on some of the production and I would send him the stuff and he's like, yo, listen, I don't know where you got to go, but you got to go somewhere else. And, I, and I'll never forget. He said, he said, you got to write about like gumball. And, and we wrote a song, it's called Pink Unicorns and Gumball Machines. <laughs> and it was just like the place you have to go after growing up in an island growing up in the so-called poorer side of the island um the forgotten side not the really forgotten side the forgotten side as you might call it and you're not writing about no pink yeah, unicorns and gumball like machines unicorns. but you have to put your put <laughs> you have to put yourself in a frame yeah. of mind that you may be creating something that will change your life you know and to have yeah we wrote songs on a Nickelodeon brief in your resume, that's yeah. dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, your resume says you did. You you got Netflix. You got ABC. Yeah, ABC, ABC, Fox, VH1, Fox, VH1. You know what I'm saying? That's and amazing. A bunch of the CW. So these these are show these are channels that we watched yep. growing up. That now we made music for. That. Is just embedded in the history what, of those things. So, what are some of those wait, shows? Now, what's funny, right? Is you called me one when mm -hmm. when when we got the first one, right? You called me and said, "Yo," and you was like all nonchalant and shit, like, "Yo." So we got, um, no, you asked me, "Do I know what single ladies is?" I'm like, "No, fuck, what single ladies, bro?" <laughs> right, right. Then, um, I said, "Well, yeah, I think it's a show on VH1. We just got placed, bro." I was about to kick down everything in the house, bro. Like, bro, no, no. Bro, I was so excited, Pimpin. And right, right. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad because I forgot that place. You know, and you know what, right? And that wasn't even the first one, yeah? That wasn't the first one, you know. Okay. Prior to that. The first placement, I'm not... I, the first placement was actually a, a workout yes. video. Da Daily Burn, something like that. that wasn't even Zoom yeah. Zoom, you know? That was like walk on water, right? I I I I refuse to. Bro, I was watching it recently. I was like, ah, <laughs> walk on water it was, right? So, so yeah. like, so we we did all it. We did the TV shows, we did um mm -hmm. workouts, workout videos, workout um. Don't skip, don't skip. We, I mean, unless the unless the the live gets cut off, like we haven't even been here an hour yet. What are the T? Break down some of okay, the TV. So shows. um, so there was I Zombie. There was Fuller House, chasing. Chasing something. Yeah, it was chasing, chasing life. life or okay, yes, like that, yeah. Red band society. Red band society. Um, single ladies. Uh -huh. uh, there's always one that I forget, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, it's interesting. So Fuller House for me is like my pride and joy. 
because I used to watch Full House yep. growing up. And 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 it's funny how these things happen because I know we had we had we had one of them pretty little liars ones too. Yeah. One of those little CW shows about the teenage girls yeah, yeah. killing killing each other whatever. And and yeah. you also got But, um that airplane that, that there was an airplane series. Yeah. Yes, from LA from LA to Vegas. To, to yes, Vegas. Right, right. Wow. Yeah. Okay, by the way, half of these shows got canceled. Yeah. But they're playing somewhere in some Bruh, country, and we get we get royalty checks. Yeah, I was about to say that, like, yo, you still yeah. see this thing showing up, like, on like with your sound exchange or with with your your um, publishing mm. administrator. You'd see little residuals showing up, say, hey, yo, you got um, royalties for that right. placement, and like, it still plays in other parts of the world, right? So it's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk. I want to talk about I Zombie. So this whole. High risk thing happens, you know the canvid, and I'm binging TV, and I'm watching I Zombie, and of course I forget we got an I Zombie placement. <laughs> so I'm watching the show, and I'm like, Yo, this song familiar, sounds familiar, right? Like, like, familiar. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Did I change my ringtone? What's going on? And then it's just like, Nah, you idiot. You you got yeah, a placement, right? On that. Yeah, and and. It's not any. It's not an ego thing. It's not a. It's not an ego trip or anything. It's just that we write these songs. You know, I, Mecca and I always challenge each other. You know, one one time he was like, "Yo, dupes, I, I, I don't. You can't. You. I think. I don't think you can do an album in a week." I was like, "Bro, I could. I could write an album in a week. And when I write it, you're gonna record it and you're gonna you're gonna mix it and, and master it. And that's how. That's. I don't know if you remember, but that's how you became like." my mixing and master my mixing guy yeah. because i was like i'll write it i'll write it i went home that night i wrote like three yeah. songs and then and then i and then by the end of the week i was like yeah i'm ready and that was actually my first album there's not too many people have my that way it's out, called my, my way, way in. in my way in yeah my way in. my, my way, way in out, right. yeah I, i don't even think i have that you know what i'm saying and um and then we chat then i challenged you again and i said yo listen i think i think we could do a song a week for a year you know First you know, all, like oh, week, uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I think we could do a song a week. And you were like, "Yo," and you, and he always does this thing. He's like, "Okay, yeah, but how are we gonna do it?" You know, and I think this is an important part of the, the conversation because he's always like, "Yo," but like, how are we? Like, what's and he, he and and nowadays it's his new thing. Is like, so what's the first step? Yeah. And I remember writing, and, I, and I'm such a bullshitter. Like, I get these ideas. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I always have people that's asking me like how we're gonna do it, and I literally had to sit there with it. I was like, "You're gonna make me do this," and I wrote it in a book and I showed you. I was like, "Yo, we gonna we gonna write the song. <laughs> we gonna write the song on Monday. <laughs> um, we gonna record it on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday we gonna do this, and then Wednesdays in St. Lucia is a half day, so we gonna take a little break. And then um, by Thursday, Friday, so we gonna mix and master it, and then." We gonna drop and it you on know Monday. The sick thing about that, I mean, though, we didn't even stick to that. You know, we came in on Monday. We came in. We came in on on Tuesday, for example. Monday was drop day, right? So we came in on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. By the end of the week, we had seven songs recorded. Was yeah, crazy. it was it was getting bad, and that's the power of collaboration. Yeah. By the end of the week, we would have seven, five, six, seven songs, and we were like, "So which song yeah. is gonna be the song?" And it was because you'd have people like Shep Dog. Right. You know, coming coming in the remember, studio. You'd have Tweezy right. coming in the studio. You'd have Rochelle coming in. It's just just people that just wanted to make music. I remember, and we we that door was I always open. I came into the studio at, uh, late one day, right? Came in one day, and and you, you Shep, um, I can't remember her name, but we used to call her Baga, Raquel. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, in the studio, and like it's like yo Mac. We have like three hooks there for you already, you know. I'm like, Shit. right, right. So it was like it was a it, it was like a song factory vibe because we all it was the mission too. We were like, yo, we never let a Monday go <laughs> where we didn't have a yeah. song. So we all we and if Mecca wasn't in the studio, there had to be some kind of Mecca vocal or something for whatever reason that had yeah. to be there. So I, yeah, we definitely started to batch the songs. When, yeah. when with Flat Stomach, for example, right? Um, I was on my way to the studio. I caught an idea. I sent you a voice note. Um, say, yo. What did you send me that voice note on? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Blackberry yes, Messenger. Wow. I, so I sent you that voice okay. note. 
And by the time I got into the studio, you already had my vocals chopped up and all kind of thing, you know. Yeah, because I took the voice note. I don't know how. I, I probably emailed it to myself and I put it in my yeah. sampler. And I already, yeah, 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 yeah. That, okay. was, that was, that was right. crazy. Wow. Like when I, so when I got to the studio, like you had, you had that already playing. I'm like, okay, cool, bro. Let's yeah. just, let's just make it happen. And we just, and I mean, so that's, that's, so anybody that's watching that song is called Flat Stomach. And um, the video is crazy. There are so many people that wrote, that song was like a Kanye West session because so many people wrote yep. on that song. Like, like, like Jojo, if you're watching, even Mike wrote on oh, the song. Oh man, Mike is You know, <laughs> even your brother Mike wrote on the song. <laughs> and, um, it really, it really was crazy. But, but, um, but we, we don't know. And though, what happened with that song? Note, though, um, even in between doing the Mecca Mondays, we we did your projects, we did Shep projects, yeah, we did Tweezy projects, yeah. Like so, we did a whole bunch of other yeah. projects, right? In in that time, so there was no day that um like nothing was happening. I remember we were just making music every day. When, we just making when music every day. You were filming your videos during the during the breaks. We were filming my video, so like we were filming two videos simultaneously. And who was shooting those videos? <laughs> right, so it's all, it's all, it's all coming together. Yeah, bro. Right. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. It's nice, it's nice to walk down memory lane. I want, I want you to say what happened with flat stomach. Something very flat stomach started to transcend into something else because then it was okay. We we were making those songs. We were trying to get syncs. It wasn't really happening that way. But then something else you you were able to to make something else yeah yeah so so then flat stomach i remember when um uh saint lucia jazz and arts festival had the um the the model the fashion show it was a, like a yeah. rip the one rip they the runway the fashion type show for the first mm -hmm. time i i they called me to perform i did my thing and then that just went on from there and i was like the, the theme song for uh one of the, the fashion weeks up in paris and stuff so like it was it 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 played at over fourteen shows that that year. Wow, so that was just that was just crazy, bro. You just that's crazy. See. So 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 Paris, you weren't there, but your music was yeah, there. Yeah, man, and and that was and that was beautiful, yo. Okay. Just just getting footage like video footage of you know like those models you always see on TV, bro. Like you never see them in real life. I mm -hmm, never see mm -hmm. them. You think? And then and then you you. And they walk into your yeah. music. And, and you know, you know what I, 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 I like about the fashion show that happened in St. Lucia? Remember, yo, we had Marla. Marla Bryan, right? Marla she, Bryan. She was on the mm -hmm. runway. We had Denise as well. Like, all those girls, were, were, mm -hmm. they, they did the thing. Like, they were modeling for Armani and a whole bunch of, like, big companies and stuff. And, like, yo, I'm on the fashion runway. with. I'm, I'm walking like I, I'm the model too, boy. I'm walking like I... <laughs> and, and I'm on the stage with yo, and I'm on the stage with them girls, Papa. You dig? Sound of the jungle, bro, Yo, so when you remember when 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 Jigga and Kanye had that song, um, niggas in Paris change nah, clothes, niggas in Paris, and they were performing oh, they, at the no, but but okay, I got you, I got you. At got the you. Victoria Secrets, and you, you were like been and, there, and done Jigga, that, and Jigga was like, yo, we were we're here already. We might as well just walk it, right, bro? I did that right, before right. them guys, bro. <laughs> I walk that, bro. Hi, <laughs> man. Hi, man. Like I like, I mean, you talk, you talk, you talk, talk your shit. Yeah, Pimpin. Yeah. So, you so that, but. I mean, that part was a part of my But uh, the funny thing is, though, f I flat stomach was never on um uh the streaming platforms. We had the video and stuff, but it was never on the streaming platforms. But October seventeenth, it's gonna be available on all platforms. Are you yeah, serious? Bro. October seventeenth, bro. Yeah. <laughs> all right, bro. So, <laughs> so you drop? I didn't yeah. even know that. So surprise yeah, everybody. So is it available for pre-order? Yeah, should be. I think. Uh, so flat summer yeah, is coming out. Yeah. Okay, so that's dope. Yeah, man. We did have a little conversation about that. I didn't know what she was doing. You sent me a voice note. You told me you were trying to change yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, the arrangement and I right. was like, so remember yeah, okay. for sync, I was telling you like, you can't mention certain brands and stuff. So yeah, those things are to be chopped up mm -hmm. and all kind of things to to yeah okay, to be okay, able okay. to pitch to to the film and the music supervisors. So that has to be worked on as well. You think so? Yeah. Got you, got you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, I know, I know, I know, I know. We had some kind of conversation about it, and I just wanted to get a little like clarity as to um. But but I'm happy. I'm happy. I've, I'm really happy that that song is coming out. I didn't I didn't know. I, so the only place you could experience that song right on now YouTube is on YouTube with the videos and thing. And 
that's the best place to yeah, experience man. it because the music there's no music video like that nah. There's no music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That there's, there's, that's that's that that video is pure. Every, pure every time somebody that. watches, so it, yeah, man. Still ask for the drink, you know, like yo, is that a real drink? Ha! Drink. You see, you forgot, bro. The flat stomach drink, bro. No, 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 no. I forgot, but I it makes me remember something else because there was something we could talk about. Writers, Mecca had a writer for every Friday. There was something that had to be in the studio. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember that? Um, I will tell you. Um, you were obsessed with that thing. Ah, uh, shall remind me. It was Nuvo. Oh, yes, bro. Yo, boy, let me not get into the <laughs> Let me not get into the Nuvo stories, bro, cuz that that would just go down a different path. Yo. Oh, like we used that. I don't yeah. even think I don't even think Tweezy, I don't even think Tweezy was old enough to buy the bottle, but we would have to go. He had to be. We he would have to go to Uptown Liquor Store and get a bottle of Nouveau on yeah, a Friday because he would come. Yeah, he would come from work, and and we and he always has this big bottle of yes. sangria. He always, always has this big bottle of sangria. Always, like, like we're not we're not drinking this yeah. sangria, to Lord. And it was and then we would just we we didn't have money, but we would put money down, and we would get we would get the Nouveau. So what was the drink in the video then? It was a Nouveau for sure. We had our we had I know our it was own a flat stomach drink. That had to have some parody in it. <laughs> nah. Because if Shep, if Shep was there, there was some Campari. Well, I mean, yeah, they yeah, had yeah. the Campari, but that was like... Okay. That was for Shep. That was for Shep. I think we All came right. with two bottles for Shep. Yeah. All right, good. But yeah, man, I mean... Hey, make sure, you're, make sure you're of the appropriate age to drink alcohol and drink responsibly. <laughs> but, but, but say, yeah, but it was, good. it was good going down memory lane, man. And I mean... Some of the takeaway things that we can say is, yeah, collaboration, everything, the, our success, our continued success, our past success, our future success success is based on the power of collaboration. Um, having our music synced on those international platforms definitely changed our perspective of what could happen with music. I mean, like you said, you did Paris. I don't even remember what year that was, but this year again with the Never Give Up, you you shout produced, out to them as you well. Shout out to, to never give up as yeah, well. shout out to, to Silver Mike yeah, and, and Celestin yo, and everyone else. Yo, that was I was there. dreaming with pride like mm -hmm. it was me on that runway, you know, bro. I swear. Yeah, I, I was there. My, I, my song Pretty Please yeah, was there, so yeah, I was man. there. And that, that, that was <laughs> so, and collaboration um, again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, 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 it shows you and big ups to Radical One who was on the who was on the on the live earlier. Um that you know, your music can go a lot of places that even you might not be able to go yet. But if your music gets there first, it kicks down a lot of doors. You know, it kicks down a lot of doors. Um, one thing I would say important about collaborating is you got to trust the people that you write with. Split sheets. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know we weren't big on split sheets back then. Right. Because it was, we were all, we all, but we, we were big on registration. So we knew whatever we did we we would we would do the splits um we were very we sampled a lot but we knew we knew the ins and outs of sampling right. where it was like okay and we we don't sample a lot for our right. sake because we 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 want our money to right. stay with us yeah, we're we, not we don't want know. no issues with mm. with with the sample with the samples like yo that is just a whole bunch of clearance issues and we would never get in mm -hmm. the door if we if we were submitting the, the music with the sample. So, um, and and, yeah, and I must yeah. add too, networking is key as well, man. Because a lot of a lot of, a lot of the the opportunities that we've had is because of networking, right? Remember, remember networking. we were mm -hmm. in the studio filming Mecca, um, doing Mecca Mondays, and then we got uh, I got the uh, uh, an email. It was at the time, right? And the email the email mm -hmm. just say, hey, need a song. Need a need a need a music video for Criminal Minds. Um, send now, please. Right? Yes. Yo, you see how instant that was, right? Like them guys wanted a video, yeah. so they they were paying us to just use our video without any sound in the back, um, in the background, and they were paying us for that, right? But they wanted it now. Yo, and we were trying to run all kind of wires from the ceiling. Yeah, it was, it was, it was. Because we had yeah, no crazy. internet in the studio yeah. and all kind of thing. And uh, yeah, we, we missed that opportunity. Mm -hmm. But yo, we, we, 
Yeah, those are those those are the hard ones, man. You know, sometimes they call you or you you I, I and another thing I'd say to anybody that's getting into that, know where your files are, know where your instrumentals are, bounce down your tracks because I mean, I got there was a placement I was supposed to get in Australia and they needed the instrumental and man, I didn't know nothing about Australia time. I I'll, I'll get it to y'all tomorrow. It was already tomorrow. Okay. You know, so those are those are some of the reasons why some opportunities just just don't happen. You know, you 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 hear you know, when you see the brief, they literally will tell you it's a Clint Eastwood movie or it's a it's a Bruce Willis movie. It's a it's a it's and mm -hmm. excuse me, I mean, you just gotta yeah. be ready. You either have to have music in the tub, or you go make you one. Could, you could adjust. Or you go make something real quick and make sure it sounds yep. good, and, and and you go from there. You know, there are a lot of websites. There are a lot of ways to network with people. Um, LinkedIn. Yeah. You know, I I I am a steady believer of taxi. because since 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 the, the 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 pandemic, we've done a lot of music, right? And and you, yeah, shout out to Radical you, One. Yeah, you you in in Brockton. Brad is in another place. I'm I'm here. Dorchester. I'm here, and then we're working with with persons like all in Africa and all kind of thing. Sierra Leone, people in Sweden, Chile, or everywhere, yeah. right? And we we're making this happen, right? Networking for one, mm -hmm. right? We we everybody has their own vibe that they bring, and you cannot just you cannot just deny somebody because of their vibe, right? You have to accept them for who they are mm -hmm. and what they bring to the table, but just make sure it works for everyone involved, right? So. The artists would have certain things that they want in the song, right? And you may not necessarily want it as a producer, but you could always come to a compromise, right? Um, so networking, uh, uh, like you said, trust the persons you work with, right? And like and get them splits. Yeah, and maintaining the friendship, man, right? So at the end of the day, everybody, yeah. like I say, when one person wins, everybody wins. You dig so? Yes, yeah, facts. It's big facts. I mean, and that's 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 a good place to just kind of like wrap everything up but when when it's a team it's a team effort it's a team effort even even when you're a solo artist and i was thinking about it today and we, i mean like we, we're pretty much wrapped and it's just like so when you when you get that message in your instagram and in your email on twitter let's collab like it's scary it's really scary but take a chance yep. you know see 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 what you can make happen test test the waters book a session book a zoom call you know, do an IG call just to see what the... I always do that. I just want to see what the vibe is. I just want to see what your vibe is so that I know how I can Imagine, you know, right? work with you. I've, you done, know I've done songs with Kanzilla from, from the Netherlands, right? Um, and I've never spoken to him over the phone, you know? I, I've, crazy. You don't even know what his I, voice sounds like. I don't know like. what his voice sounds like, right? That's but we, we make music and, like, I send him this and he sends me back feedback and, and we just make it work, right? Man, it's just a, a beautiful thing. Technology has put us in a position where we can make those kind of things happen. Man. So we just had a Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for man. Sure. It's, it's easy mm -hmm. and difficult at the same time. Yeah, but you're going to make it happen. All right, man. Well, I mean, it's been real. So, I mean, you guys could go. So, so your, your homework is you got to go listen to Flat Stomach for sure. Um, make sure you pre-save Flat Stomach. When it, when it, so, so when it comes out, you get it right away. On all the DSPs. There anything else you want to promote? What's your website? Youngmecca.com. Fresh. Uh, just redone. Right? So you check it out. My... Youngmecca.com? Yeah. I, I didn't want to. Wow. Yeah, interesting. I didn't want to, you know, like. <laughs> I, I, the... So you redesigned yeah, the website. Yeah, the website. Mm -hmm. yeah, re, re, uh, re, newly done. Check it out. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Fresh get. Veteran is out now. Veteran is out. Yeah. Um. Um, and Wine Up as well. No, Wine Up remix featuring you produce that, so you talk about it. So yeah, I so I dopes dopes had this song crazy hard like him and Radical one did that. I'm like yo, that tough, and I'm like yo, you know what? Networking again, you know, networking again. I say dopes, and 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 the, that's the good thing about you though, um, and Rad as well, right? Like. You're always down for whatever, right? I'm like, yo, you know what? Let's get certain people on that remix, bro. Let's do that. And and like y'all trust me enough to just run with it, right? And I and and I and I link I link my I I I made the post. Um my boy linked me. 
And he's like, yo, I know who we can jump on that. Let's make that happen, bro. It's like, cool, pimp, pimp. Nice. Send that. So that comes out. I know. Uh, it comes out this October, October 15th. 15th, right? So, um, yeah. October so 15th. Yeah. Who on that when it when when it drops, man? You dig? <laughs> yeah, who on that when it drops, man? Aye, right, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not gonna tell him. Nah, That's man. fine. Right, so everybody, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, Mecca, thanks a lot for the time. And next week we're linking up with Descendant. So just make sure you stay. Uh, you follow all of us, um, so you could get the update. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be a Thursday night. It's gonna be a different night. So stay locked on the social media, so you know when it's happening. And more of these are coming, man. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, bro. I appreciate being here, man. And that's your first one, right? <laughs> that's uh, your first man, one, yeah, man. Way to baptize that. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody have to interview me for the for one of the last ones. We can talk about. <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, if, if anybody All message right. me, if yeah. anybody message me for some reason, I ain't seen no messages, bro. So like, all I'm seeing is just. Yeah. Don't worry. When you when you when you when you go back through the um when you go back through the through the live, I I got yeah, it. Cool. So basically, you do like a little swipe up, and then you see like I swipe down. Oh, there's there's Joanna's message. Yes, Joanna, thank you. You swipe just on your screen. You swipe down. You see the messages. But when when we go through mm -hmm. it again, you see, you see right. everything, and and you can reply. Okay, great, yeah. man. Well, cool. Well, shout out to everybody for tuning yeah, man. in, man. We truly appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yeah, and share it. Share it even when we post it. Share it again. Yeah, definitely do that. Talk to you guys soon. Right, bro. Have a good one. One love, Peace everybody. Out. Peace. Yeah, my respect.